I'm going to show you how to add a back button to your iPhone. So check this out. If you have a lot of different uh, home screens on your iPhone, now how do you go back? There's not an easy way. There's not like a back button. So you have to kind of like slowly back, 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 and then get to your home screen. This is my home screen. Now, how do you add a back button to do this easily? Keep on watching. So step number one, we're going to go to our settings. Now scroll down and look for accessibility and then touch and then go to assistive touch when you first come here it might be off like this but watch what happens when i turn this on i see this white button right here and you can configure the custom actions from here so there's a single tap double tap long press and 3d touch so for example for single tap i have set it to home so let me go back for double tap, I've set it to open menu. So if I double tap it, here is the menu that opens. But single tap with home, that's gonna that acts like a back button for my iPhone. Let me show you. So if I go back and let's say I'm um, deep inside uh, my home screens, now watch what happens. I'm gonna single click on this uh, white virtual assistive touch button. And it goes back to the home screen. So easy back button trick for your iPhone, especially if you don't have any buttons like uh, uh, older iPhones. On the newer ones, you can easily hack it and create a back button for your iPhone.